we go. Like I said, it's the last time I had did one of these reaction videos for you guys. I had the volume of the video of the video I was reacting to a little bit too loud, so you guys couldn't hear really hear me say anything, so apologies about that. Alright. Here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Good morning, good evening, good time zone to you all, and welcome to a uh, beautifully balmy day here in beautiful Bellevue, Washington, here at Bungie HQ. Going to turn up just a little bit. Uh, welcome to our stream that's going to go ahead and showcase a little bit of what's to come in Act 2 of Episode Echoes. But very briefly, before I go ahead and kick things off, um, the eagle-eyed guardians among you have probably noticed a little QR code down here in this general direction. Uh, mm -hmm. If you go ahead and give it a scan, our friends over at the Bungie Foundation are going to be running a seventh column chaos tournament, and you have a chance to get involved, help them raise some funds, and do some good. So if you go ahead and do yourself a favor, give that a scan, learn a little bit more about what they got, maybe give them a follow on Twitter while you're out there, uh, they've got a lot of cool information that's on the way. But speaking of cool information on the way, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Uh, today, we have the distinct opportunity to go ahead and tell you a little bit there about the stuff that's going to be arriving with Act 2 of Episode Echoes. But worry not, as always, I'm joined by an all-star cast of guests here from the Bungie development team. Uh, I'll go ahead and dive right into it, starting with uh, the individual right here to my left, the incomparable Allison Lures, narrative director here at Bungie. How you Hello. doing? Hello. I'm doing great. How are you? Doing all right. Thank <laughs> you for asking. No one ever asked me back. Chris. More people should. Yes, yeah. thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, for the uninitiated at home that may not have met you or are just kind of meeting you for the first time outside of the Vidoc potentially. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, who you are and what you do here at Bungie? Yeah, my name is Allison Lures. <laughs> I'm the narrative director for Destiny 2. Uh, it's my job to work with the team that creates our stories and characters. Uh, we're in charge of making you cry and feel things. Uh, <laughs> I have cried a lot in our game, so thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. They, they well, definitely made me feel emotional this, this, this with the uh, so final shape. We appreciate it. Uh, and of course, sitting right next to Allison is the one and only Mr. Ryan Harris, uh, Senior Activities Designer here at Bungie. Ryan, welcome. Hey. Uh, for the folks that also may not have met you or uh, have probably played your uh, your activities without realizing it, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here? Yeah, so my name is Ryan Harris. I'm a Senior Activity Designer here at Bungie, and folks may know me from Season 20 Battlegrounds, uh, Seventh Inspire, and yeah, I work on the Vanguard seasonal team, making the activity content folks play day after day. Excellent. I've spent a lot of time in Sabbath Inspire, so thank you for your hard work. Well, <laughs> uh, and of course, next to him, friend of the show. If you've tuned into our Into the Light streams, you've met him before a couple of times. Uh, the one and only senior design, a senior design lead here at Bungie, the one and only Chris Proctor. Chris, welcome back. Thanks, Andy. How are you today? I am doing so good. <laughs> Thank you. This is everything's coming up Millhouse. This is going great. Uh, for the folks that may not have had a chance to tune in to the previous streams, uh, if you wouldn't mind telling us a little bit about who you are and what you do here at Bungie. Yeah, uh, folks might be familiar with my work on the weapons team. I was weapons feature lead for four and a half years. Uh, I'm now the sandbox craft lead on Destiny, which means I help out the sandbox team with any issues they're facing mm -hmm. and uh, help uphold that critical sandbox quality bar. It's, a, it's a, an exciting one to dive into, so thank you and yours for all of your hard work. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get ready to go ahead and dive into some stuff about uh, Act 2. But first things first, uh, we've obviously been listening to the feedback of our fans, uh, in particular the kind of weekly rollout of all the different stuff that's happened through Episode 1. Uh, with Episode 2, you guys are looking to try something a little bit different, isn't that right? That's Allison? right. Yeah, we've been listening to the fans and listening to feedback, uh, and we agree it's time for a change. Uh, so we're going to do a trial of something new in Act 2. We're going to be dropping all three beats of the uh, acts at once. Uh, so we'll be dropping all the three beats for Act 1 at the same time, all the three beats for Act 2 at the same time, all the same beats uh, for Act 3. Uh, and the goal is <coughs> to encourage players to play at their own pace, uh, yes. to get all of that content at once if that's what they're looking for, yeah. or to meter it out over uh, whatever pace they want to play at. Um, but yeah, so we're going to give it a shot in Act in uh, Episode 2. Excellent, uh, that's right, yeah. See how it goes over. Yes, definitely. And to that, uh, uh, to that same end, uh, when Act or Episode 2, I did it too, rolls around, uh, make sure and let us know what you guys think. But whether you're a, a Netflix-style... Oh, okay, like so... They are changing it up when Remnant comes out. I think that's the next uh, sure uh, uh, episode comes out. So when Episode 2 comes out, they're changing how they do where at the start uh, of each act, they put in like the three weekly missions right up front. I actually don't mind that. I think that that's a nice... That's kind of a nice 
nice way of doing it, and, at least in my opinion. That way it's not like, hey, you can get all the whole story out of the way. That way you have time to focus on the seasonal activity where you're not having to... We did, we did it. Cut Yay. away uh, for the, uh, something else. I feel. I feel like that's a nice way of doing it. Um, where we killed the witness on paper. I'm, so it'll be interesting to see what the fan base uh, and how I also feel about it going going forward. But I think think it could be a good and so all of the memories change. that were inside of the witness, uh, which is not necessarily exclusively the precursor beings that are inside of it, mm. uh, collided with the light of the traveler uh, and made matter out of those memories. Uh, we call those echoes uh, and one of them launched out towards Nessus uh, and so we followed it to try and investigate see what this thing is uh, and when we got there uh, we managed to reunite with a failsafe who you left you abandoned her <laughs> she's okay with I it do feel personally she's responsible. chill okay just so you know thank, yeah. goodness. thank you she's very happy to see us uh, uh, we're happy to see her and we're happy to see her uh, so we've been exploring through Nessus um, and initially things are pretty fun what a fun cool light-hearted adventure uh, yeah. nothing bad's going to happen of course not of course I not <laughs> uh, and the act ends with getting a little a little tease of like oh wait this isn't going to be a strictly light-hearted adventure <laughs> uh, yeah Zave no gets kidnapped uh, more than kidnapped kind of body controlled away yeah. from the rest of the group yeah. uh, and as he's taken away this being called the conductor hmm. is interrogating him uh, and demanding to kind of understand whether or not you are real like whether saint is the real saint or not still it's calling it that the kind of conductor uh, is maya sundish going to get darker the even better given that uh, saint is a rich individual who is responsible <laughs> for nice the veil uh, vale projects yeah. and also <laughs> the reason so now that we at least i believe she's away, the reason uh, the vexor on neomuna i could be wrong or she experiments with the vex on neomuna similar well. to that uh, with uh clothes bray i could be wrong but as we go ahead and kick but yeah, it'll be here, it'll be interesting to see the conductor. Yeah, what, the saint, what uh, saint heard when he was being kind of uh, controlled really got to his head. Uh, we are going to be watching him wrestle with some questions that he's never asked, asked himself before. Yeah. Uh, and as we are trying to understand more about this conductor that he has encountered, uh, we are also going to be going back and revisiting one of Destiny's most storied locations very briefly. So the lore hounds out there are going to have a chance to feast. They're going to have a delicious time. Excellent. Okay, but storied location. So it's a location we've not to been to before. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay. And now cool, that, uh, cool. that gives us the structure for what we're about to dive into. But we have now uh, the new activity that will be arriving as well. Oh, um, new activity so too. Ahead. We have cool. some gameplay here to go ahead and dive into with the Echo Battlegrounds, the new three-player activity. Oh, Echo uh, Battlegrounds. Kind of okay. A bit about what we're going to be checking okay. out today. Absolutely, yeah. So we'll be taking a look at one of the three battlegrounds that players will be engaging with this act. Mm -hmm. um, so the first battleground here starts on in the cistern, in the Wall of Flames, on Nessus, of course. And players will be running through the Wall of Flames, checking out what's going on here as the Fallen have kind of like started Oh yeah, I noticed that. That's the new uh, the solar themselves. rocket yeah. sidearm that we get so from the seasonal activity. Really weird, like seeing like, noticing that the radial area of this lake has been drained. A lot of the areas kind of like yeah. revamped and like regenerated itself to something new and players will be looking at the story of like where is this radial area going where is it flowing oh yeah uh, i just so realized that is where the like whole uh like radial area lake should be yeah. i didn't realize uh, that when i was playing through the mission the first time because i think the reason i just didn't realize was because on my playthrough it was like really dark like all at night instead of day like this i wasn't sure if maybe that was Huh. So they all kind of have a way of interconnecting with each other as well. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I mean, it, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask. Obviously, the Vex have been our primary antagonist through this, um, but the you know the entrance here is being guarded by a pretty heavy contingent of Fallen. Um, who are these Fallen, and what are they trying to do here? Hmm. Yeah, I, I can give a relatively boring answer, but I believe Allison can give a much better one. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Fallen are here uh, because they're after the Echo too. Uh, we want to think of these Echoes as kind of an arms race. Yeah. Uh, in the absence of the Witness, there's a giant uh, power vacuum yeah. that has formed. Yeah, makes uh, sense. Where makes sense why the no Fallen would want the uh, going to come out Elixir and the Fallen, yeah. yeah. So uh, the Fallen are here. They're chasing Wait, down the Echo as well. And they're encountering New the same episodes. thing that we are in that the oh, Okay, so uh, it turns out that I was actually incorrect, guys. I apologize. So apparently, not just starting in episode uh, in episode two later on, 
down the uh, year, so but also next week, decks, but yeah, also uh, episode, episode of the Echoes, cool Acts 2 and 3 will release all story more, beats like all at once yeah. kind of instead of on a weekly like basis, allowing players to experience the story on their own pace. Okay. Again, I like, I think that's a nice, personally, I think that's not a bad idea because it's like for guys like me that would love to be able to just get the story part out of the way. I mean, not not say out of the way, that makes it sound bad, but like, with these, engaging the whole as well, grip we of the story the right show, away rather than having to like the main goal here was just for you, guys you know i feel like really also as like a from a uh, i was gonna say maybe from, from like a content creating standpoint that's a little bit yeah so for this out of battle tricky because i always did like about how oh each episode did take like um you know like the week to come through so so I don't know. We'll we'll see so how really how I feel about it from I I didn't think about it from a content creating standpoint. But we'll, really we'll see how it goes. Either. I mean, if anything, I could still what make it to where like oh each episodes like one of the same. So you know these battle maybe post each one week. Let feel free to let me get let me know what you guys think. What you got if all with the way that they're doing the stories now with the fact that each all the the three I guess like missions that'll be the story mission you could do all of it at once. Would you guys prefer to have me release them pretty closely back to back or still spread them like a week apart? How how would you guys like me to do that? Let let me know in the comments, please. So I, I want to know what you guys would want me to do because the way I could do it is like oh when the when it comes out when act because the act two will be starting next week so when act two starts next week you know I could do at least on the live stream when I stream it I'll probably do the whole story mission right up front but as for YouTube releases would you guys prefer me to uh, post the videos like pretty closely one after another like for example like oh, okay like post the first mission of the blip um well, I went ahead and uh, modified like I said the first mission of the blip sorry. like right up front <laughs> How dare you? You, and you'll, you'll or like you know like say on Wednesday like the day after the live stream and, they, they and then the next can, uh, video of the blip say like maybe like uh, two days three days later like that following Saturday or would you guys want me to spread it out more and make it like a week because I, I do want because I haven't noticed in my destiny videos have been getting a little bit extra traction um over the last couple of weeks so um, with that in mind, I do want to keep my content engaging for you guys. So, again, let me know what you guys would like me to do. Would you like me to, again, make it to where the videos, like the different blips are... With the third one hitting on the second week are uh, um, but it's not even necessarily i think you know really do you guys cool want me to keep the blips more separated apart like i said or would you guys um even you know like i said like a day or two or would you guys, like, guys like, like me to release the video like once a week let me let me know what you guys would prefer pose but it's it's a brand new experience can you tell us what it was like kind of putting that together and sort of creating this journey to the center of Nessus? Yeah, so we really wanted to tell a story of, well, that journey to the center of Nessus, and that requires new geo, new art, new environment. Yeah. Um, so everything after this encounter onwards is just all new geo and layout, um, and we really tried to our best to like carve out what that experience is, and that, as most folks know from Battlegrounds, uh, they usually run through a, a patrol and like a, maybe a new boss space or just a new encounter space. Uh, these Battlegrounds really push the boundaries of like hey this this is this is all new this is completely new fresh um this this yeah, I was gonna say like for the new yeah. for the new elements, the like we were here yeah. though, I think. Like, for we the last uh, portion of the characters that you've, you've battled before the episode, but, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they new mechanics and new kind of like ways to what they uh, the they do. Fight. I will say the other uh, thing that at least I think will be nice you know, with the fact that the blips will like all the story mission element stuff will be available right up front as each act starts. Um, I was a bit. I was a bit concerned with, um, I mean, are like, I how can I put this? I was a little bit concerned with it because, like, if but they but did the blip style, like, the last two weeks, okay, sure, they put Iron Banner and for two weeks and everything like that. But when you get later on down where it's like, oh, you want to do bounty grinding or you want to do, um... It's not going to be the same. Or you want to do, like, the, the seasonal activity and grind that out a little bit. We'll you know, I always did find that when that each week engaging, comes along, um, that was, a, it was like, oh, that was my first priority. But again, depending on how long that takes, um, then it's like, oh, um, 
then you're kind of stuck loss, trying to go back and forth. Like so we'll be, oh, what the heck? Or just no damage immunities at all. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is the same area we had Saint fourteen. Yeah, this is completely new. Ever. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe. Yeah, for we'll now. See. <laughs> Plenty of chances to go ahead and test out those uh, those still hunt accuracy or the, each individual's uh, accuracy with still hunt rather I should say. Uh, I say oh yeah, this is like completely new. For a very good reason. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, no, there's obviously a ton of stuff to check out in that regard, but I think I'd be remiss if we didn't also talk a bit more, uh, kind of about what we're seeing on screen in, in some way is, uh, Chris, we've got some new, um, weapons that are going to be arriving with this act as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, can you tell us a little bit more about kind of maybe even this one we're seeing here on screen? This is one of the new ones as well, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this is the aberrant action solar rocket assisted frame sidearm. Or rocket sidearms. You love yep. to hear it. Yeah, the first uh, solar rocket sidearm, and it's a banger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the role that uh, we're showing here is uh, heel clip incandescent, which is probably, it synergizes super well with solar subclass. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's actually, really that's, that's actually a really good clip. That's actually a really good combo. Say, I like that a lot. Is awesome. mm -hmm. like the weapons art team yeah. knocked it out of the park. Uh, this and one in particular it looks amazing, too. I will say, I really like the way it looks. Little, cool little animation there. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat. Oh yeah, the way that the site opens up. That's I didn't even notice that at first. That's actually super There's some other, cool. Like interesting perk combos on this as well. So I'm particularly fond of pugilist and demolitionist. Yeah. Because you get uh, kills so fast with these uh, rocket side arms. Yeah, that yeah true. The energy as you're doing it's actually that, uh, super just, insane yeah, how quick it is. Yeah. That's why like I love the the, uh, whole, the weapon I've been enjoying the most uh, so far RPG has so got to be yeah, right. the, uh, the, uh, corrosion, the call um, from uh, uh, pulse rifle, yeah. uh, another one in this seasonal set. And yeah, this is uh, yeah. We, we introduced Ooh. this subfamily with uh, final shape. Yeah. Oh, a two burst so heavy hit. That might actually be really, really right good. Here. Actually, yeah. now that I think about it, with the volt shot, that good. could be really good and for my right arc yeah, hunter build because I use uh, I um because uh, I use the uh, ascension uh, aspect, uh, which is really, really nice. So having, uh, frenzy gives you a bit of damage and those stats. As I'm well. curious yeah, what yeah, third column perks uh, are in there as well. I will say if it has living through their anti anti barrier. Uh, era as well. It's probably not too bad to have one with that many stacked perks on it. Frankly. I'm yeah, trying to think. Well, what were some of the other things I was thinking about? What could I... Oh, that's right. If, uh, if it has strategists, that'd be really good too because yeah. I believe it is uh, dealing damage or getting kills with that weapon um, gives me class ability energy and since Ascension works with that, that could be really good. Saints tried and true favorite shotgun. Perfect Paradox is coming back as well from Season of Dawn. Oh yeah, Perfect yeah. Paradox, Paradox that's coming back. back. Uh, along with a bunch of other Dawn weapons, this is the one we're dropping in this act. And yeah, all of the perks that you know and love from the original, yeah. uh, plus a bunch of new ones, plus the new origin trait, uh, Cast No Shadows, mm -hmm. um, which if you're doing a melee build, just synergizes really nicely with it. So, yeah. uh, threat Detector left huh. arm. And that's and actually really, really cool. Barrel. Well, it's a small amount of ammo from reserves. That could be that could actually yeah, be really, really good depending on what build you work with. Saints Arsenal was yeah, mm -hmm. we combination blow hunters are about to have a very good time. Oh, I can yeah. already tell, honestly, <laughs> as if we weren't already. Uh, no, it's been great. So with the new additions to the weapon sandbox, uh, there's also some new um, a new row. Pardon me of perks unlocking on the seasonal artifact as well. Isn't that right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, each act we're adding a new row. Um, yeah. So this is five new artifact mods. And with these, we're really leaning into sniper rifles and solar damage. Yeah. Ooh, uh, okay. So we'll Interesting. We'll bring this up in a, in a second. Oh, yeah. So they've, they're, the, the, the fire team here, uh, obviously, <laughs> is a little bit of their hands full. And also, uh, everyone in chat, please give a shout out to, to Peyton, Mitch, and Justin here, who are doing the proverbial heavy lifting, Fair carrying enough. us through this activity. So can we get yeah, so more so artifact mods, so or do we have to choose from them? coming back. Mm -hmm. uh, Personal so, favorite. one, two, three, four, five. This, uh, okay, so no, seven. Only 12. So, you, we don't get the ability to choose more, but more can become yeah. available. It makes it really easy to deal with uh, barrier champions. Uh, the energy and, uh, costs of like scavenger mods are significantly shields, discounted. That's, yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Very, very I was so bad for the hive knights. It's not terrible. So defiant what's, the, uh, really what's the next one? <laughs> okay, anti barrier <laughs> sniper. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then scavenger mods so you can keep those special ammo sniper rifles fed. Yeah. Fair enough. What's uh, the next? The solar sniper precision rounds. kill yeah, so scorch target. So that could. Oh, sniper God. And I can think of a oh, no. The. Here, but there's also still hunt. Yeah. Um, yeah, still hunt. Really that thing's going to be so freaking meta now. Oh, no. Next one. 
Um, your ignitions do increased damage with increased radius. Oh, all ignition. Oh my god, people are going to be grinding for any the class item with Caliban's Bane on it more than ever. Increases damage with every precision hit. So, if you're landing, that's actually insane. Oh my god, and even anything with incandescence is going to be nuts. That's deadly. That's deadly. That's, that's deadly. <laughs> Your next excision run is about to be just a symphony of Whispers of the Worm, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Which is uh, not a bad way to And sniper time. rifle uh, also hits this is, uh, as uh, I was grand kind of stacking sniper rifle damage. damage. Oh my uh, god. So with, with the They're literally just of, making snipers uh, two, OP. Obviously, Solstice will be a part of that. And we'll touch on that a little bit later here in the stream. Um, but with the arrival of Solstice, you guys are also working on a new balance update as well. Yeah. Uh, covers weapons, covers armor, covers Fair abilities. enough. Uh, I will I'm say go this. I, I really... One thing that I would love for them to do uh, as they, part they of the tail, artifact, mean, uh, and I don't know if other people might feel about this way too, since we have so much loadout potential and custom ability, I would love if when... We do like when we when we build a loadout, we can select obviously the artifact mods that we want, and it's to that specific loadout. And then when we switch loadouts, we could um let's say okay, like I have these twelve mods for one on the artifact mod on this loadout. When I switch over to another loadout, it immediately switches over to the other ones that I may have pre-selected on that loadout, rather than having to switch up the that's right yeah i i haven't spent as much uh, time switching up to, the artifact mods physically every mind. single time that's always really been the one thing i really do wish they would change because like there's times uh, where i would yeah, love right. yeah, to be able to <laughs> maneuver <laughs> some of these <laughs> mods <laughs> over but it's just such a pain uh, that i would have to remember each mod that i have each of the artifact mods that i have every single time so that's why a lot of times i have to sometimes with my builds i have to make them based around the mods that yeah, I already so have pre-equipped rather than to remember to which mods I have to change each time I switch up loadouts. I mean, again, if you're gonna bother, I mean, if you're gonna bother to have us with so many different mods on the artifact, especially now that they're, you're adding more, it would be super nice for them to make it to where, again, artifact mods can be, um, can be part of the loadout changing system. Uh, we've got some other weapon buffs. Any in particular that you wanted to speak to while we were here? Uh, obviously, all this will arrive on Bungie.net later, but uh, as long as we got you here, I'd love to hear if you got any more on your mind that you'd love to speak to. Yeah, with the sniper rifle focus in this act, uh, we really wanted to improve their ease of use a bit more in PvE. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest problems is when you're like trying to land crits on a witness or something and you're taking a bunch of damage, right. you're getting flinched off target a lot. Uh, so we've gone in and halved the flinch from PvE enemies. Yeah. So that's pretty oh, cool. wow. Yeah. Uh, Having so flinch in PvE? But, uh, Jeez. We've gone in and removed the penalties from Adept mods. Mm -hmm. And this is sort of setting the stage for a larger set of mods that we'll be dropping in a future release. Exciting. Not too far up. Yeah. The proverbial stay tuned for everyone out there yeah. as well. Yeah. Exactly. Um, actually, and also we were talking a bit before the show too, but uh, the, the, there's going to be some armor tuning as well, isn't there as well to like the, the mods, I believe? the. Uh, right, yeah. yeah. So if, if you do a lot of raiding, you're probably familiar with the reserves mod swapping shenanigans that you can do and this is just sort of fiddly and annoying for players um, we don't think it's a balance issue uh, but it is irritating we didn't want players to have to do it so now when you switch your reserves mods back off uh, it'll bring your total reserves back down to their current cap uh, and to balance that out we've increased reserves for special and heavy weapons uh, across the board mm -hmm. um, it varies per weapon type but it's in the 10 to 15 percent range Nice, okay. Um, and in addition to that, if you do like running reserves mods permanently, we'll reduce their cost by one. Uh, you'll note that with some of the discounted mods from the artifact, uh, like already reduced that to one, so this would bring it down to zero. Oh, really? It's a pretty big change. <laughs> very nice. All right. So build crafters, you've all been made aware. Now's a chance to start tweaking <laughs> those, those variables in your spreadsheets across the board. <laughs> uh, very exciting. Okay. Uh, a lot of stuff to dive into uh, still yet, but we've also got um, a brief quick preview uh, of some stuff that's going to be arriving with Solstice. Now, I know our, our fire team is here hard at work in the background, but very briefly, I wanted to make sure that as a part of this show, we took a look at the armor sets that are going to be arriving with Solstice. So, as a reminder, oh, Solstice armor is going to be sets? here. With oh, like each team. level of... Uh, that makes sense. a pretty good time for you guys to dive into. We'll have more information soon, but you can take a look here and see kind of the 
I don't know, old timey pilot race car driver. Maybe yeah. I'm just channeling my old inner hmm. race car driver yeah, here. Yeah, I can really see the adventurer influence uh, <laughs> yes. in this. That that's I that's cool. Um, and delving into I want to thank that's yeah. also the pants. I was gonna say with boots. I don't. Like, know. I mean, I guess yeah, that might be like an uh, ornament, a like warlock, type you could right, buy in the Eververse store. <laughs> I would uh, guess. Let's see. Up next, we've also got our friendly neighborhood Titan, I believe, with perhaps one of the coolest helmets. Okay, that. Okay, so the first one was warlock. That one's Titan. Okay. Alien. Being Make the hunter look decent. This is one time we'll go ahead and summon that feeling, honestly. <clears throat> uh, Titans out there, make sure you go ahead and start getting your transmogs ready. But uh, this is one I, I can't wait to see start running around the tower. Should be pretty solid. And then, last but very not least, okay, we also are going to okay. Be I can I actually uh, like that. I like that a lot. Actually, that's really um, cool. Again, really channeling kind of that adventurer style that they're really going. I think I might make that the ornament selection for my uh, soul for uh, my still hunt solar build. That's actually really really cool. To go ahead and have us go ahead and tear through it with. Uh, we are very appreciative of it, but yeah, just kind of a quick look at what's to arrive with solstice. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, I mean, honestly, that's kind of the main set of topics uh, for today. We're going to go ahead and scan Twitch chat very briefly to make sure we can go ahead and grab any questions. Um, but uh, Ryan, honestly, we're, we're now into, is this the second battleground? Yeah, we're in the second battleground yeah. on the second encounter right now. Um, yeah. So what we didn't see previously was uh, players were, when they finished the first battleground, the second battleground actually starts where the first battleground ends to yeah. continue on your journey into the center of Nessus. Yeah. Um, and that's the same for when you end battleground two, that's where you start for battleground three. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. That's cool hmm. actually having that again, that okay. journey to the center of Nessus. Uh, Interesting. Sort of in that same vein, actually. One thing I, I've also kind of been wanting to ask selfishly is uh, a wise narrative director once said that stories are told in three acts. Uh, could you <laughs> yeah. tell us a little bit about what this episodic structure offers you guys? Like, what are you able to yeah. try that's different? So humans like stories that have shapes, right? right. Uh, when we think of a, uh, a story where you're kind of like in the same place, like doing the same thing, like sometimes uh, we want to make sure that our stories feel like they have shape and momentum to them. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, with uh, episode one, we can think of the shape of it kind of as starting in this place of uh, really like lighthearted it's a fun romp it's a fun adventure and yeah. it slowly goes down yeah. <laughs> into a really dark place as all the doom happens in the background exactly. we're having fun with fail safe we get to yeah. play with that different the bleh, bleh, play with those shapes and yeah. play with that structure with each of our episodes um so in episode two in episode three it may start at different places and the energy may take you in different ways yeah. we got to really experiment and play around with what are we introducing narratively which in enables us to add things like a focus on state 14 for act two uh, or uh, different ways that the, the battlefields may change as we're going through. Yeah. Um, humans like stories that have shape to them. Uh, and that's what a really uh, well-defined act structure allows us to do. Yeah. Exciting to see, honestly, as we've just get yeah. started here in Echoes and with, with uh, episode two on the way, but we'll talk more about that at a later date. Worry not. Mm -hmm. We've got plenty to dive into with Act, act Two right in front of us. Um, but uh, as far as my, uh, my, my agenda goes, I think actually we've thankfully hit kind of the, the primary bulk of the show. Um, Did I touch briefly on the ability oh, stuff? That's please. Yeah. yeah, thank you, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've been monitoring uh, feedback in PvP around uh, Prismatic Hunters. And particularly the two pain points around Swarm Grenades and Credit Spectre. So we're bringing both of those down yes. into line. Yeah. Uh, we've also got a couple of PvE changes coming, and this is Titan stuff. It's sort of previewing some Titan changes that, that are going to come in a future release. Yeah. Uh, but we're bumping up the do damage of the supers, Twilight Arsenal mm -hmm. and Hammer of Soul. So those should both be a lot more competitive. That's right, yeah. Hammer of Soul Titans rejoice. Mm -hmm. Also, I selfishly <laughs> like grabbing that axe from Twilight Arsenal. So if those could keep existing, I'd be a very happy camper. Yeah. Uh, also, we got a question from chat. Uh, Freeboop asks, uh, probably one for you, Chris. Mm -hmm. um, are you guys still evaluating the interactions of the combo on Edge Transit, or will you swap from Envious Assassin to Cascade Point and have a 24 magazine while you still have Cascade Point? Uh, yeah, so we mentioned a few weeks back that we're going to be adjusting that. Um, it ended up needing a code change, uh, which is typically a little bit slow, slower to roll out, but that fix is still coming. So uh, if you missed out on getting that, um, that perk combination, uh, that is not going to be an exploit that continues to work. Excellent. Fair enough. All right. Thank you, Freeboot, for the question. We appreciate it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I think thankfully that as we watch our, our <laughs> steadfast group of guardians go ahead and continue their way uh, here through uh, the battlegrounds, I think 
um, that's kind of the, uh, the high and low of our show, everyone. Of course, we wanted to go ahead and make sure as we dive into the, uh, the <laughs> events of Act 2, uh, as we go to get, pardon me, prepare to conclude Act 1, uh, we wanted to make sure that all of you had a sense of what was coming. And again, a reminder, this launches next week on July 16th. A uh, quick reminder of the topics we covered. Uh, of course, we're going to go ahead and remind you that the Bundy Foundation folks are doing some amazing work. Go ahead and scan that QR code and check out what they're up to. Otherwise, Act 2 arrives next week. With it, you'll have these three new battlegrounds, two launching with the first week, the third arriving on the second week, new weapons joining the sandbox, new artifact mods for you, go to, for you to go ahead and unlock. Uh, and of course, Solstice will be joining us uh, later on into the, uh, into the act. Um, but otherwise, uh, before we go, I of course want to make sure that we take a chance to go ahead and thank our amazing cast here. Thank you so much for joining us today and telling us about what's to come. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, Abby. Yeah, appreciate the time. Uh, to our amazing team of playtesters in the background, Mitch, Justin, and Peyton, uh, thank you very much for doing the proverbial heavy lifting. To the amazing team here, producers and house, they go ahead and put this all on. Uh, thank you all so much, honestly. We always appreciate it. And last, but of course not least, to all you guardians out there, thanks for taking the time to join us today. Uh, we'll see you all very soon, but in the meantime, take care of, yourse take care of yourselves, <laughs> take care of each other, and we'll see you all star side. Okay, well, definitely interesting. Uh, live stream obviously super excited for the story new weapons and everything like that um i I'm honestly pretty satisfying i'm pretty satisfied for this live stream uh from it i personally can't wait to see uh what other surprises they got uh coming i'm also can't wait to see what um how you guys feel about the episodic lips all coming out at the same time with story missions so uh, like I said, guys, please, please let me know how you guys feel about uh, the story missions kind of all being in the same sort of bundle together. Would you guys prefer, like I said, when it comes to like if, uh, when I make them into videos, would you guys prefer um, me stretching out the episodic blips into uh, into different um, points and whatnot? Um, like, mul like I said, if I do multiple videos on it. Would you guys prefer me do it like the traditional side I've always done? Obviously, with the way Bungie's done it, to where like each episode, each story mission comes out like each week, and I do something like that. Or you guys would, uh, would want them more grouped together. Like I said, like if I released one on Wednesday, would you like if the next one released like two days later? Or depending on how uh, the episode blip kind of works together, just depending on how, because uh, I know sometimes some of the footage uh, I kind of mingle together to save up on time. Uh, if you guys would like just the entire uh, episodic blip as this is going to be all just merged into one video, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys want. Feel free to comment that down in the comment section uh, below. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoy the live stream, please make sure uh, to let me know what you think. As always, if you made it to this point of the video, hit that uh, comment hashtag full watch down below in the comment section. I'll give you guys a shout out on Twitter. Uh, and for those of you that are watching this right now on the U uh, from YouTube, uh, feel free to head over uh, on Kick to see me live. I might be playing Destiny 2 right now. See you all next time, guys. Peace out.